Here at Firebase, we're always adding bug fixes and improvements to everything that we make. And sometimes those are a big deal, but sometimes they sort of slip under the radar. Well, until now that is. Because every month or so, I'm going to dig up my favorites, both big and small, and present them to you on an episode of this brand new YouTube series called Firebase Release Notes. Now let's quickly dive into the releases, because we have a lot to cover, starting off with some of the releases from this year's Firebase Summit. You can now identify groups of user devices outside of Firebase and then import those segments into Firebase. Within Firebase, you can then target those segments in A-B testing, remote config, in-app messaging, and in the Notifications Composer in the Firebase console. You can continue to target audiences from Google Analytics in Firebase, but you can now also target based on these new imported segments. See the link to the documentation in the description below. The Firebase Emulator Suite lets you run emulated versions of our backend products for a faster and safer local development experience. The Emulator Suite already supported hosting, real-time database, Firestore, Cloud Functions, and Cloud PubSub. And it comes with a local UI to manage all of these. And now we've added support for emulating Firebase authentication so that you can develop and test user sign-in without ever hitting your production project. We also launched major versions of our primary SDKs at the Firebase Summit. So let's go through what changed in all of these. Version 7.0 of our iOS SDK adds Swift Package Manager support to many more Firebase modules, making it easier to integrate those modules into your Swift apps. It also supports the new auth emulator and consent mode in Analytics. Version 8.0 of our JavaScript SDK adds support for the new auth emulator and more configuration options for all the other emulators. This is a major upgrade from our JavaScript SDK, so there are some breaking changes too. For example, if you are using ESM imports, you must now use the default import instead of a namespaced import, as shown in the example here. And the latest version of our Android SDKs supports consent mode in Analytics and the Auth Emulator too. But Firebase authentication can now also be used on Android devices without Google Play services. And this is a major change that required us to make some breaking changes to phone authentication. So be sure to check out the release notes for hints on how to update your code. Our Android SDK releases come with a BOM or a bill of materials. Using this BOM in your build.gradle ensures that all Firebase SDK versions in your app are compatible with each other. We also have a new BOM comparison widget so that you can easily see which versions of each SDK are changed between releases. For this tool and all these major SDK releases, see the link in the description below for more information. Many developers automate the distribution of their test releases through Firebase app distribution and they are sending updated apps to their testers daily or even more frequently. We've updated Firebase Console to make it easier to find those specific releases. And in addition, you can now set up in-app build alerts to notify your iOS testers when new builds are available to them. This makes it easier for those testers to install the update right from within your app. Read all about these and more changes to app distribution in our blog post that are linked in the description below. And finally, we just launched a new region for the Firebase Real-Time Database. When creating a new database instance, you can now choose to host it in the US as before or in our Western European data centers in Belgium. This is a great option if you need to keep your user data in Europe or if you want to reduce latency for users who aren't close to the United States. You can read all about it in the blog post that I linked below. Those were all the recent releases from Firebase that we have time for today. My name is Frank Orpuff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.